I now yield four minutes to the author of this bill, the gentleman from Washington, and I ask permission that the balance of my time be taken by Mr. That by objection. The from Washington. Mr. McDermott. The gentleman from Washington will control the time and is recognized. May, Madam uh, Chair, may I ask how many, what the division of minutes is at the moment? Uh, gentleman has 16 and a half minutes remaining. And on the Republican side? The gentleman from Louisiana has 15 and a half minutes remaining. Thank you. Madam Speaker, <clears throat> I rise in support of H.R. 6419, which will extend current unemployment insurance benefits through February of next year and will provide much needed help to unemployed Americans during the holiday season. From the beginning of the unemployment insurance program 75 years ago, we have never cut off benefits for out of work Americans when the unemployment rates have been this high. Without this extension, temporary federal extended benefits will shut down shortly after Thanksgiving, the 27th, and denying benefits to 2 million of our fellow citizens over the holiday season. It's unthinkable to me that we can allow these benefits to last during the holiday season and before the economic recovery is on solid ground. Despite the severity of the Republican economic collapse, which started under Mr. Bush, there have been 10 straight months of private sector growth under this democratically controlled Congress and administration. Despite the huge accomplishment of digging the American economy out of the Republican economic ditch, too many Americans remain unemployed. There is still only one available job for every five unemployed Americans. To make matters worse, the press is now carrying reports that employers around the country are refusing to hire the unemployed. They are saying to the unemployed, we want to hire somebody who has a job to come over and fill our job. Because we know you were laid off because you weren't a good employee and that's why they let you go. We don't want to hire people who aren't worth anything. That's the message that's going out in this country now to the unemployed. And many of those people were middle class people who worked very hard and through no fault of their own, their industries collapsed. Banking, housing, direct results of what the Bush administration did, or didn't do really, that is regulate Wall Street. Unfortunately, the Republicans have already made it clear that instead of helping the middle class, one of their top priorities is to give millionaires and billionaires a huge $700 billion break. Now, the same people who are saying this should be paid for will be out on this floor sometime in the next couple of weeks saying, we don't have to pay for a tax break. Why, that'll just, that'll pump jobs into the world. All we have to do is cut taxes everywhere and we give $700 billion to people who make more than a half a million dollars a year. That's okay, but an unemployment check for somebody to keep bread on the table and keep their mortgage paid is not okay. We can't not fund that. This is an emergency. People who talk like that on the floor of this house have never been unemployed or never have known anybody who was unemployed. You would not talk that way about unemployed people if you knew them. Now, this should give every middle class American a lot to think about the results of this last election. This is your first chance to observe what you can expect in the next two years. The majority leader in the other body, or the minority leader in the other body said, my number one priority is to prevent Barack Obama from having a second term. Not public policy, not jobs for people, not health care for people, but political gain. And that's what this is all about. The experts agree two out of every three people who get unemployment benefits are in the middle class. We're not talking about people who weren't trying or weren't working or weren't doing their part as Americans. 
while the, Amer while the Republicans were bankrupting the country to help the rich with one hand, giving tax breaks all over the place, the Republicans were using the other hand to push the unemployed middle class in America out of their homes. They never dealt with the foreclosure issue to prevent them from having food on their tables and to keep their children from being properly clothed. On the campaign trail, Republicans called the unemployed lazy. Boy, you haven't met an unemployed person or you would never say that a second time to them. And they said that unemployment benefits spoil out-of-work Americans. They get lazy and they just sit around the house and wait for their unemployment check. You never, those checks aren't that big in the first place. And secondly, People don't like to be unemployed in this country. People look for work, and they're looking for work, and they're now being told, oh, you've been unemployed for two years. We're not interested in hiring you. We want somebody who's got a job over here. That was on NPR just yesterday. So it isn't made up. That's what's going on. Some Republicans even question the constitutionality of the unemployment insurance program. The health and welfare of the American people is unconstitutional, according to some people. Fortunately, the American people don't feel the same way. A recent poll showed that 86% of Americans believe the unemployed really want to work. That's what the people think. That's not the political rhetoric of people running for election, but that's what the people really think. The election is over now, and Americans have said we need, want both parties to work together to get things done and do it by listening to the American people. Americans don't want to push American families whose breadwinners lost their jobs through no fault of their own into poverty during the holidays. I think we should end these debates and extend benefits longer and allow benefits to be scaled back on the economy as the economy improves. The reason we've had all these votes out here is because the Senate is unable to do anything. We've tried to extend this for uh, extended periods of time, and over in the Senate, they can think, well, it's extended for a month. Let's see if we can starve them for a month, and then we'll go in. They let this program lapse for three months over there. And you're telling me that uh, we're going to work together. Well, I think we ought to work together. The short-term extension is effort to see if our Republican colleagues will support any kind of help for the unemployed. I'm told by the other side that there's no plans in the Senate to take up this bill. Well, they're waiting to see if we can get it out of here. If you don't help, <laughs> maybe it won't get out of here. But the message to four million Americans will be the Republican Party doesn't care whether you have a Christmas or a way to fund your mortgage or a way to put food on the table for the first three months of the next year. I hope my Republican colleagues will join the American people in supporting this bill, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Louisiana.